Hello and welcome to Point of View. China finally launched its crewed Shenzhou 17 mission to the Tiongong Space Station on Thursday, October 26, Beijing time. The Shenzhou spacecraft was launched atop a long March 2F rocket. The arrival of the three Shenzhou 17 astronauts will mark the beginning of the handover from the Shenzhou 16 to the Shenzhou 17 crew. Shenzhou 17 lifted off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in China. Shenzhou 17 crew was announced just a day before the launch of the mission. The Shenzhou 17 mission will be led by Commander Tang Hongbo. This will be Tang Hongbo's second spaceflight. He previously flew to space for the first time in the three-month Shenzhou 12 mission in June 2021. Joining him are Tang Shenji and Jiang Xinlin. Both astronauts are in their 30s and are making their first ever space voyage. USB, radar, gun on The crew will stay in orbit for about six months. During their stay, they will witness the arrival of the Shenzhou 18 crewed spaceship and Zhengzhou 7 cargo craft. The Shenzhou 17 crew is scheduled to return to Earth in May 2024. This mission is particularly noteworthy as it marks the first time that a spaceflight team consists of one veteran from China's second batch of astronauts and to space rookies from the third batch. Of astronauts, the crew's average age is 38, compared to 42 for the Shenzhou 16 crew when it launched. The Shenzhou 17 crew has a busy schedule ahead of them on the Tiongong Space Station. They will perform various in-orbit space science and application, payload tests, and experiments. This includes carrying out extravecular activities, installing extravecular payloads, and conducting space station maintenance for the first time. The astronauts will also do extravecular experimental maintenance, which is a very challenging task. They will continue to assess the functioning and performance of the space station and test the coordination and compatibility of ground support centers in performing space station operation and management tasks. This is to further enhance the operating efficiency and fault correction capability of the space station. As for the Shenzhou 16 crew, they are scheduled to return to Earth on October 31st. The Shenzhou 17 crew will take over from them and spend about six months on the space station. 
The Shenzhou-17 mission is a testament to China's commitment to advancing its space program. It's an exciting time for space exploration, and we can't wait to see what new discoveries and advancements this mission will bring. Stay tuned for more updates on this mission and other exciting news from the world of space exploration. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep looking up.